it all. It is better for thee to enter into life maimed than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. Look at what Jesus said. He's not talking about your literal hand. He's talking about somebody as useful as your hand. He's talking about somebody as skillful as your hand. He's talking about somebody as profitable to you as your hand. He's profitable in earthly things. He's profitable for earthly profit. He's profitable for earthly progress. But he wants you to compromise. And he has an oppressive nature that he will push you. If you don't, he'll say, come on here. Don't you know he's talking to you? Don't you know my authority? Don't know, you know the power I have? I told you to rebel. I told you to disobey. I told you to disregard the word of God. I told you to forget all their preaching and listen to me and do evil. And you didn't do it. Don't you know my power? Somebody who is so powerful and skillful and useful as your hand, if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life maimed than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. If thy foot offend thee, cut it off. It's not talking about your foot, your literal foot. It's talking about the people who make you make progress. They are on the move and they carry you along. Maybe with money, maybe with encouragement. And they are the people that move you forward in every way. And they move your strategy, and they move your vision, and they move your dream forward. Maybe your dreams like Joseph. The dream of your childhood and the dream of your early years. And this person will help you to move forward in fulfilling that dream. The only condition is he'll make you compromise. He'll put pressure on you to compromise. He will make you not to stand on that holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. He will be angry at you and he will teach you how to get angry. He will do things that will hinder you from getting to heaven. A person like that, if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter halt into life. That is your childhood dreams you cannot fulfill because the person to move you on is not able to help you, is not willing to help you except your compromise. Forget dream, forget ambition, forget progress. Getting to heaven is the number one in your life. What shall you profit a man if he gain the whole world and he loses his own soul? What shall a man give in exchange? For his soul. That's why it says, if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter halt into life than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. I pray God will help you. That's what he's talking about, that you separate, you determine, and you decide my help will come from God. And if may be delayed a little, but I have faith in God, you will not die of hunger. But you know, there's somebody who is so close to you, precious to you, profitable to you. And you always think of, you know, I can't make it in life if uh, she is not by my side. I can't make it in life if she is not uh, helping me or he is not helping me. And because of that, you are wedded to sin. You are married to sin. You are married to evil. You are yoked with evil. I pray you will not die in that condition. Nobody knows your temptation like yourself. Nobody knows your predicament like you yourself. Objects of sin, objects of temptation, objects of compromise, objects of falling, objects that will hinder you, 
objects that will not allow you to have real commitment to the truth and real commitment to holiness, objects that will lead you astray, objects that will make you fall into error or falsehood or sin or deception or into compromise, you will cut them off in Jesus' name. And when you do, you do it with determination and you do it with firmness that this will not pull me to hell, you will not get to hell. Let's rise up now and take what we have learned to the Lord in prayer. Amen.